I'm sure you've all guessed by that little introduction there. I finally got my package, my mystery package, which I'm sure you've all tortured yourself all week trying to figure out what it is. Right? <laughs> well, anyway, I will do away with all suspense and simply introduce to you the Sager NP5135 laptop computer. So to everybody who guessed that my mystery package was a computer, you were right. I'm sure though a lot of you probably have not heard about Sager or who they are. Well I don't want to dwell too much on that because if you wanted to you could research it on your own. But I will tell you that I did buy this computer at a store, an online store, called Exotic PC. And they're a store that allows you to customize different models of laptop computers pretty much any way you want. And, um, well, that's what I did with this guy. So, you can check out their link. I'll have a link in the video description or something. And, um, you can go there and you can see all the models that Sager offers and everything else. And, uh, well, do the research on your own if you're really that interested. But what I want to focus on is what I actually added to this machine and what it is that makes it so special. Well now I'd like to give you guys sort of a more up close and personal look at the machine overall. Now you've already seen the nice little shiny logo on there but what you might not have noticed was if I can get it in the right light the cover has this sort of gunmetal finish to it which is really kind of sleek and cool on the back we've got our power port for our cables and uh, I guess this is a Kensington lock on this side we've got a whole ton of ports um, the ones on the back here I really don't know what they're about but you got a couple of USBs and then you've got up here a USB 3 or 3.0 and uh, you can sort of tell by the blue strip in the middle there so the difference between this type of USB and your standard one is that this one is 10 times faster or so advertised and that's really going to help with uh, converting movie files or pictures or whatever I need to insert into this computer. This is going to really make things very quick. Uh, it's also got this nice uh, card reader port. Basically takes all of them, I guess. Uh, SD uh, and whatever all the others are. Um, up on the front you've got indicator lights. Um, right now it's hibernating so that's the light that's on right now but then you got things like about uh, like charging and battery and all that other kind of stuff uh, up on the front there so I guess then we'll look at the bottom uh, one thing that's a little kind of disappointing about this computer and it's very nitpicky though uh, the speakers are up front here and they're not that great they don't sound too good. They serve their purpose, though. I mean, you can hear everything pretty well. It's got good volume. But the quality of the sound is not the greatest. But if you're really that concerned about sound, just wear headphones. Uh, we got the battery back here. Here's part of a release mechanism. You just pull that back and then push the battery out. And uh, I suppose I can demonstrate. It's a six cell with this kind of uh, extended life, I guess, if that means anything to anyone. And uh, installs rather easily. And nicely clicks into place. No hassle. So, very nice looking on the outside. Tons of ports, lots of uh, functionality. But let's say we open this up and have a look at how it looks on the inside. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the screen. 
and it's a 15.6 diagonal screen and it's not just HD screen it's full HD screen 1080p and I don't know if this camera will be able to show the quality well enough but hopefully you guys will be able to see just how nice that looks how crisp the lines are the richness of color which this camera will no doubt ruin but overall it at least gives you an impression of just what this thing's capable of I had the choice of either having the standard HD or going up to the full HD and I am glad I chose the full the keyboard is pretty nice it's a chiclet style and um, it takes me some getting used to because uh, normally I just use the standard old style desktop kind of keyboard and I am more comfortable with that but I'm getting used to this and it's not a bad keyboard either and in fact over here you'll even see there's a uh, there is a number pad here and um, it is a pretty nice one it's good to have it's not always present on 15 inch models but there it is anyway I was just fooling around the touchpad here that's also pretty nice and I was just drawing a box for no reason okay anyway um it responds well you can adjust the settings in Windows and uh, it's pretty good it also has multi gesture to, or to some extent if you take this edge this allows you to scroll up and down windows that you've opened up and uh, you also have an enlarging option you sort of spread your f two fingers like this and you get things to get nice and big do you see those icons more like it. Anyway, uh, that might prove useful sometimes. Other things to note is um, power button is over here and this button is actually pretty unique among most laptops. You see what that does is it manually adjusts the uh, power settings. Basically it's a way to conserve battery life. As it is right now, um, it's just letting the graphic card and the processor do its thing. But if you were to press that, what it would do is it would adjust the, uh, the machine such that it would limit it to only exert a certain amount of energy, meaning it saves battery life when you intend to only do low power things it forces the high power components not to be able to function and um, this is something that pretty much any computer I guess has the ability to do when it has uh, discrete graphics or, or something to that effect but what the button is is it's just a way of easily being able to toggle it on and off instead of having to go through menus and find it and turn it off and then when you're done remembering to go back into the menu turn it on again uh, you know this saves you a lot of time and effort and uh, can be really useful when you're out in the field I guess so um, sort of a unique feature about this laptop it also has a 2.0 megapixel webcam up on the top pretty standard I guess and um, other than that I guess that's all there is to highlight about the insides here um, it doesn't have that gunmetal finish like the lid but it does have like a simulated brushed metal look 
which is pretty nice. It adds a little class to it and uh, makes it look better than just uh, regular plain plastic. And even though it may be made out of plastic and not metal, it definitely does not feel cheap. Everything is sturdy and uh, well built. It does not feel like a cheaply made product. Um, and that's very good. And that's part of why I went with this uh, brand and manufacturer. So, anyway, we'll move on to the last little part here. So I just wanted to take a quick second and actually go over and explain all the components that are in this. Because I don't think I actually said so before this. Um, I'll just do it quickly. I mentioned the full HD screen, 1080p, very good. Uh, the Core i5 560M Intel processor. Um, pretty good, I guess. A new thermal compound to keep the uh, computer running cool, and that's always very important. Um, comes with NVIDIA GT 420M 1 gigabyte video card with Optimus technology. Um, I gave this thing 640 gigs of hard drive space, some of which will be taken up by Windows. I also gave it 6 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, the traditional or normal for most products on the market is 4. So between the processor and the 6 gigs of RAM, I shouldn't have too many issues with performance at all. A 6-speed Blu-ray reader and a 8-speed DVD RW Super, Super Multi Combo Drive. Basically, it burns and reads CDs and DVDs and plays Blu-ray. There is internal Bluetooth, the 4-in-1 card reader, a improved wireless module, uh, the 2.0 megapixel camera, um, Windows 7, obviously, and the fingerprint reader, of course, but that's just built in. And that's about it. Except, I have to highlight the uh, extras. Now, obviously, most computers nowadays always come with uh, the manual and whatever else. Uh, I can read that later. I also get all the drivers, software, uh, most of this is probably already preloaded, but uh, they give you the discs anyway if you want a clean install. I got a two-year uh, limited parts and labor warranty, which is good, and this. I was able to pick this up for 20 bucks, and this is a bundle that comes with the package. And this is the thing to note most. The Adobe Premiere Elements 8 software. Movie editing software. No longer am I constrained to Windows Movie Maker. And that's a good thing. Now the rest of it is a bunch of like uh, photo arrangement, photo editing stuff. But I mostly got it for this. And 20 bucks? Come on. You can't buy editing software that cheap. So, even if I only use it for that, it's still worth it. And, well, I'm probably pretty much out of time. So, hope you've all enjoyed the video, and uh, I will definitely be tinkering around with this, playing around with it, and as I do new things with it, if there's interest for it, I'll put videos up about, you know, maybe it's performance, what kind of games it can play if I buy them, and uh, whatever. But anyway, uh, again, thank you for watching, and until the next video, catch you guys later.